India appears to have halted visa services in Canada, part of an escalating diplomatic dispute between the countries. There's been no comment from the Indian Foreign Ministry on the move. Relations plummeted this week when Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said Indian agents may have been involved in the killing of a Canadian Sikh activist shot dead near Vancouver in June. Well, let's cross live now to our correspondent Archana Sukla in Mumbai. Can you take us through what is this latest message that's appeared on the visa application portal in Canada? What can you tell us about it? Well, BLS International, which is an online visa application center, they've posted a notice uh, saying that uh, the Indian mission in Canada has suspended visa applications for Canadians until further notice, citing operational reasons. Now, BLS International has also posted the same message uh, to the stock exchanges here in India, informing them uh, of suspension of visa services in Canada. Uh, however, India's foreign ministry has not uh, responded to any queries over this matter. Uh, remember, this comes just one day after uh, Indian government advised its citizens in Canada uh, to take utmost caution uh, from what it called publicly condoned hate crimes in Canada. Uh, tensions have flared in the last uh, few days after uh, Canadian Prime Minister made a statement linking Indian agents to the killing of six separatist leader in Canada in June. Um, and uh, in fact, uh, the Canadian High Commission here in India today has also said that they have their diplomats here in India have received several threats on social media. And as a result, they are assessing the situation and they have decided uh, uh, to uh, to assess the staff presence in India as well, which means they could be pulling out some of the diplomats in the coming days. Uh, and, and, and tensions have, uh, you know, flared up between the two countries over uh, six separatist leaders and demonstrations in Canada uh, for Khalistan, uh, for Khalistan uh, uh, program, which is a, a, a separate Sikh homeland. Uh, it's a demand that Indian government has strictly uh, and sharply objected to. Um, but uh, and, and this was also a matter that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi raised with uh, Prime Minister uh, Justin Trudeau during the G20 summit, and it kind of soured their meeting uh, during the G20 summit as well. Uh, remember, just one week before that, uh, Canada also halted trade talks with India. So diplomatic issues have had larger repercussions uh, right now, uh, and it's taking uh, 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 more tense turns right now. Arjana, can you give us a sense of the importance of this latest development, the apparent suspension of visa services uh, offered in Canada? How many tourists, how many business visas, how many student visas would we typically expect to uh, be offered to Canadians? How many Canadians will be stopped from potentially traveling to India because of this latest development? Well, there would be uh, a few uh, 100,000 applications pending at the moment. The numbers are yet not clear because BLS International has yet not confirmed the number uh, uh, of applications that are stuck. But India and Canada uh, have a relationship where uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of Indians live in Canada, have moved to Canada for either uh, uh, educational purposes or have moved to Canada for work purposes. Um, and, and, and few numbers come here for business purposes from Canada. Um, the two countries have shared a relationship, uh, uh, you know, of business uh, communities, of uh, educational uh, communities, uh, and a large Sikh population, uh, which is the second highest after Punjab in India, lives in Canada. Um, and, and, and all of that will, will be uh, affected because of suspension. However, we don't know till when will this visa services be suspended. Rachana Sukla in Mumbai, thank you so much for taking us through that.